Urban Tanks Nation episode number 25. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And as we sit here, unfortunately, I have uh, completely screwed up Alan's poor iPhone. Uh, may be a little bit irritated at this point in time, so he may be struggling through uh, to stand up and not hit me in this episode. So, either way, we're going to fix it afterwards. Uh, we didn't get a chance to fix the jailbreak, uh, so that's why the video at the end of the last one was kind of... Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, um, we want to talk about what was, uh, for 2012, brand new stuff coming up. Uh, one of the big stories that hit just a few days ago, um, Verizon. Um, Pretty much blew all that Netflix, <laughs> saw what they did, and was like, hey, can we mess up worse than they did? <laughs> I think we can. <laughs> See, I, I think it's pretty bad, because they basically announced, um, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to start charging you $2 for you to pay your bill. Oh, they'll love that. Oh, yeah. So, what that, conference room was this? <laughs> so, that got announced, and it literally went up on the net, like, that afternoon. Mm -hmm. And I think by the next morning, because all those execs and all the CEOs went on Twitter and went on their forums and, you know, different places, and were like, hey, these people are pissed. <laughs> I don't think they like this. No. <laughs> So the FCC even had something to say about it, and basically they said, "What are you, what, what are you doing?" So yeah, literally the next day, uh, Verizon goes, uh, uh, "I think we messed something up." So yeah, we're not gonna do that. It could have followed Bank of America's. I mean, it happened, the same thing happened to Bank of America. Hey, they won't mind paying that a little bit extra. <laughs> what did Bank of America do? I don't even remember. It was uh, their. I think debit card or something. They were going to charge you more to use your debit card. Oh wow! Like four dollars or something like some something crazy. And same thing happened. It yeah. Got on the uh, interwebs there and yeah. Oh, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, that was that was up and down in one day. So if you didn't pay too close attention, you might have even missed it. I I spread the word throughout throughout all my Verizon buddies. I'm an AT and T AT and T guy. He's an AT and T guy. We didn't really hurt us, but yeah. I just had to spread the word, and obviously it went up and went down. So done I with. That really was affected by. Yeah, it. nobody really got affected by it. But uh, one of the new things I did want to talk about is just announced today. Uh, Netflix, their little small Roku box that they sell, you know, little hockey puck style Apple TV ish, yeah. you know, box that they have. Um, they announced a get this a streaming stick. You can now order, well, they don't have prices up yet, but in the near future, you will be able to order this stick. It's basically about the size of a USB jump drive or thumb drive or whatever you want to call it. I heard an old guy say jump drive the other day at the store, and I nearly fell out laughing. I was like, who calls it a jump drive? But whatever. So, the same person uses a zip drive. <laughs> I still have one, and it still works. And I even have a friend of mine, Marilyn. She asked me to use it, which I had to get that back from her because it's a relic. But anyway, uh, moving on. You're a relic. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, they announced this streaming stick. And like I said, it's about the size of a regular USB thumb. And you stick it in the back of your TV to an MHL HDMI port, which is a little bit different because it just came out about three months ago. None of our TVs have it. Yeah, unfortunately. Because we were talking about this earlier. And it was like, oh, cool, you can take this thumb drive, stick it in the back of your TV, power it, mm -hmm. have a, you know, an HDMI cable, you know, a little short three-footer out from here into your TV, and boom, you've got everything you need, yeah. and that would be great. No, 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 no. Roku said, nah, screw that. We'll make it, we'll make it even harder. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to make this port, or someone else made the port, and they just basically brought it into their product and said, hey, uh, we're going to use MHL for our little stick so that you can just power everything over it. So, I mean, it does the video, it does the audio, but it does the power as well, all in one thing. And you know what? The Roku box is only, really, if you really want one, they're only this big. Yeah. And yeah. we've got the uh, XL, the XD. Yeah, and there's different flavors there's of three. it. There's three. Yeah, there's now. different flavors of it. So, I mean, it's the choice of going over a hockey puck size, well, just a little bit bigger than a hockey puck, yeah. versus, you know, a quarter of a size of a stick. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, it is cool because... Here's the thing, I actually emailed you one of these the other day, is iPhone, um, I can't remember the company, uh, they have an adapter that plugs into the bottom of the phone. Oh, film on. Film on, there you go, and it allows you to have uh, over-the-air TV mm -hmm. on your phone. I think the app is free, 
Uh, the stick is free if you pay the hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I think it's like hundred fifty like a year. Yeah, it's a for, yearly. For the yes, for the yearly subscription. Yeah. You can buy the dongle separate for ninety six dollars, which I've been with you since day one. So if you're watching. You... <laughs> but does the ninety six dollars get you the dongle and free over the air? Can you do over the air at that point and have just no, like have one? Like, well, if my phone was working, I could show you the film <laughs> one app. But it's not. Like I said, um, he's he's holding back from hitting me because <laughs> I messed up his uh, phone. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's it's a cool idea adding a little dongle on, adding an antenna. I would I would seriously have an antenna out of my phone just to have just have over there TV. Because yeah. I mean, I could be sitting at work and go and just have you know TV oh, sitting yeah. there. And then your boss would be like, "You surfing the net and watching TV." <laughs> uh, I may not have a job much longer, but even after you watch this, check me out on Twitter, see if I do or not. Who had uh, January fifth on the calendar? <laughs> anyway, maybe January tenth. It might be a little bit longer, but either way. Um, yeah, so Roku, good idea, maybe not so good on the execution, Yeah. Uh, but maybe trying to future-proof yourself, I guess. Maybe this will be a future thing. Yeah. Uh, you can never call it when it first comes out, because, you know, everybody didn't think that the iPad with the name was going to be... The or world. the uh, Toshiba came out with HD DVD, oh, and yeah. Sony had Blu-ray, and I was and like, every, oh, oh, I was more on the HD DVD it, side. It made sense. Yeah. Because you're going from DVD you to... You never thought, I'm going to watch a Blu-ray. Yeah, and here I am, 135 movies later, <laughs> got a Blu-ray collection. So yeah, of course, Alan said the same thing about the iPad and made fun of it very harshly on our previous show, uh, <laughs> but now has an iPad. So yeah, you can, you can, never, you can never call these things. But uh, one last thing, obviously, coming up, um, CES 2012 is just around the corner. Uh, be out in Vegas at the Vegas Convention Center. Did we get an invitation? We did not get an invitation, unfortunately. I'll make some, uh, some passes. Make some phone calls, and uh, yeah. we'll see what happens. We can, we can make some fake passes. I got a laminator. Yeah, why not? All right, we'll do it. But anyway, uh, the Convention Center will be holding CES 2012 again. Of course, everybody's got their you know things that they're going to come out with, and one of the biggest ones outside of Apple, I'm going to try to stay away from because obviously everybody knows what everybody's talking about for Apple, uh, HP supposedly leaked photos for their, it's either a Spectre or a, I want to say Verge. I think it's Verge, yeah. I think it's Spectre is the laptop, maybe Verge is just the website I, I read it on, I don't remember, but it says Verge in the end of that video, but basically it's their brand new Ultrabook, mm -hmm. and Ultrabooks get thrown around a lot lately. Acer has their Ultrabook yeah. because MacBook Air, uh, they're very similar. It's that real thin, real light, no optical drive, solid state hard drive, you know, throw around. And if HP makes it, I may have to get in on it because I've been a Windows guy since forever. So it's easier for me to get a Windows machine that's like a MacBook Air. Uh, the only thing is I have yet to see a machine boot Windows up very quickly. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Mac boot up fairly quickly. So I, I, I don't know, maybe put it in sleep mode because mine, mine comes out of sleep mode fairly quick. Uh, but booting up is a whole other ballgame. Yeah. But um, we'll see what happens. Uh, HP's had a really bad year. Uh, 2011 was not their best year. Uh, they lost their CEO, got Meg Ryan from eBay, who knew all about hardware. So she's running the company now. Took me two days to set up the wireless printer I got for Christmas. <laughs> Still uh, can't print black and white photos from my Mac because there's no settings. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Wow. I have to look into that. Um, also, I mean the touchpad. You remember the ninety-nine dollar fire sale? Yeah. Like three times they did that fire sale, and I'm sure they're probably gonna do a fourth one. Maybe uh, WebOS. We still don't know what's gonna happen with WebOS. Mm -hmm. That's still kind of up in the air. Uh, what else? Let's see. CEO blunders, all sorts of stuff. I mean, BlackBerry may come out with something. Shoot, BlackBerry right now is dropping their 16, 32, and 64 all down to 199 I think it is. Yeah. It is. All of them. There may be a Playbook 2S3, whatever. <laughs> Something may come out at CES. You never know. Well, they're already shuffling around all the CEOs and, you know, all that corporate level guys for BlackBerry. So that's another thing is it could be a bad year for BlackBerry this year. Maybe HP turns out. So they're flip phone commercial. Oh, business. seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's painful. That's so painful. Which, by the way, well, I think we both love this commercial. Have you seen the Samsung whatever phone making fun of everybody in line for the oh, yeah. iPhone? Yeah. 
They're like, oh, I can't buy that phone. I'm that's not artsy. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, but I can do this, and you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Love that phone. Love that commercial. But either way. But yeah, looking forward to CES 2012. We'll have more news as it comes available. Hopefully, uh, we'll get an invitation between now and then. If anybody wants to send us to it, we'll fly out there. We got somebody with an airplane that will be more than willing to take us if we get free tickets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So anyway, we'll see you again for episode number 26. Follow us online. We've got four different places. You do the first two. <laughs> YouTube.com. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> YouTube.com slash TV. Facebook.com slash TV. And then, wait, you did YouTube and Facebook. I've got Twitter.com slash TV. And then our... One first, take, folks. And then our uh, website, TextNation.tv. I'm going to throw out one promo. I'm starting a new project for 2012. Uh, I can't say the title on here uh, because this is a rated PG, PG-13 show. Uh, but basically, it's a audio podcast only. It's comedy. I get, to little, get a little bit more... Um, Blue? Uh, red. Or that. Either way, I get a little bit more vented and heated and get to say things that I normally wouldn't say here. Uh, so if you liked last year me talking about uh, the senator and wanting to have a fight... Uh, those probably get a little bit more heated, so if you want to check it out. It sure is. Ain't talking about fixing iPhones. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to check it out, check me out. Hit me up at RustyG on Twitter. Uh, I should have a link up to it also on the iKnowRusty.com. Check that out as well. Uh, so I will be very busy for 2012 along with my job. So Alan may even be a guest on that show. Uh, just saying. You never know. You never know. He could be, you know, we could be stars by next year, but we'll see what happens. But thanks again. Look forward to episode number 27. I don't know. Six. Six. All right. Thanks for watching.